As a PhotoPass photographer, we used a lot of tips and tricks to get great photos of people. Here are seven of the best tips and tricks that we use to get great pictures. One of the things that I learned as a PhotoPass photographer was a number of tips and tricks and ways to help make sure that you get great photos of your guests. Not just the mechanics of the camera, but in particular, how to work with the guests themselves, how to get them to pose, smile, and do things that make the pictures look the best they possibly can. So if you want to take pictures of people, or if you want to know how we did it, here are seven of the best tips and tricks that we use to get great pictures of people. The first of my seven tips, make sure everybody knows which camera to look at. If, if you have ever seen those pictures where everybody seems to be looking different directions and some are looking that way and others are looking this way and others are looking this way, it's because all of your photographers are taking pictures at the same time. You've got more than one, you've got several cameras, and people don't know where to look. There's a really simple trick to this. Take turns and point to the camera so they know where to look. If we were taking pictures of groups or if we were with characters, we always made sure that we pointed out and said which camera to look at. Okay, everybody, look over at those cameras. Now look at these cameras. Now look here at Mickey's camera. We made sure that we always pointed it out to help resolve that. It's a fairly simple thing, but it's something that if a group had their own photographers, then I made sure to let them know, hey, I will point them to you first, or I will point them to you second. When we were working with characters and we had attendants, we always let them know, hey, guys, I'm going to point them to you first, and then I will take pictures at the end. So that way they knew what the routine was, and that way we could point people to them. So let them know which camera to look at. <laughs> it will save that whole weird looking everywhere thing. Number two. Make sure everybody can see the camera. There's a very simple rule in photography that if you can't see the camera, the camera can't see you. And if you've got those people that are hiding and you're going, well, why couldn't we see them? Well, it's real simple. Tell people when you've got a group, hey, everybody, make sure you can see the camera. If you can't see it, we can't see you. You're hiding behind somebody. And then take a moment as a photographer to look and make sure nobody's hiding. Scoot them over a little bit. Move them around. Don't hesitate to arrange them so you can see everybody. Don't take a huge long time to do it. Just, you know, hey, you in the back row, move over a little bit real quick. Awesome. Great. Make sure everybody can see it. Because you don't want to lose that person who doesn't realize that they're not in the picture. Number three is kind of a pet peeve of mine. Don't take pictures of people bending over. This drives me nuts when I see a group shot. When you see two or three rows of people and the front row is doing this, especially when it's ladies. Okay, it's a terrible pose. It's a terrible posture. It looks crappy. Don't pose people bending over. You want everybody standing up straight. If you can't stand up, then kneel, then sit. If you've got such a big group that you can't have everybody standing, arrange them in tiers, sitting, kneeling, one knee, both knees, whatever, and then standing. Put your short people in front, bigger people in back, and then alternate them so that way heads are between shoulders. You'll get everybody looking much more comfortable, much more relaxed, and just plain better posture if you've got them all up straight versus bent over. And you don't have to worry about any wardrobe malfunctions or anything else like that either. Keep everybody straight. Sitting, kneeling, short people in front, alternating that way. And then we get everybody straight. Don't bend them over. <laughs> this is something that, honestly, when I see pictures like this and I see professional photographers doing it, I'm going, Ugh! If you want to how to do it right, go back and look at yearbook photos and especially the sports teams, football teams, basketball, and you can see where this bending over thing has crept in the last few years, and it doesn't look as good. Don't do it. Make everybody up straight. Number four, try other poses. 
Okay, so you've got your standard picture of everybody standing there nice and straight and smiling. You know, you've got your vertical picture with the castle behind or whatever you're taking a picture of. And a horizontal, and you've got everybody just kind of standing there going, Alright, now let's have some fun. Do something different. Do something unique. One of the things that we do if we have a big group is we tell them, Okay, everybody, give me a ta-da. This is our standard, really kind of boring <laughs> other alternative. And just everybody going, or the back-to-back, -back. we kind of joke about the prom pose, or if you've got just a couple, you put her in front, his arms around. But then have a little fun. Be creative. Let people choose their own poses. Let people do crazy faces and the bunny ears and goofy stuff. And let the people in the picture get creative. Try some other things that maybe you haven't before. One of our big things at PhotoPass was we'd have your regular pictures, but we wanted that last picture to be memorable because it was different. It was unique. It was something that they didn't get to do otherwise. You would say our photographers do different things like get down on the ground and have a kid hold a hula hoop and put the castle in the hula hoop. Thanks, Jen. That was an awesome shot. You would see photographers that would get the kids in front hiding their eyes and making gross faces while mom and dad have a kiss behind them. I enjoyed having people kind of pointing different directions and looking different ways and looking confused that way. Just having something different to do that gave them something unique to them. If you had somebody that had something unique, like a birthday, have everybody pointing at them and yay and celebrating them or something like that. Do something different and have some fun and get creative and listen to other ideas. And hey, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but you can't say you didn't try. Try a couple of them. Don't be afraid to try some different poses, some different stunts, some different things. And following right up with that, number five, use props. Props are cool and you can do some great things with them. So my picture I just told you where I would have everybody kind of pointing different directions. I would have one or two people at the center holding the map of the park. And better yet, holding it upside down. Then everybody really looked confused. <laughs> and it made for a fun shot. You see Disney photographers now using signs for the different events. Or things like, I'm with so-and-so. Or it's their birthday. Basketball players will hold the basketballs. Don't be afraid to use some props, some things that are personal, some things that are just fun. My daughter and I were at one of the Disney parks, and we had this big food thing. And so I grabbed it as we're taking the picture, like, I'm going to take a bite. And so we got this picture of us fighting over the food. Again, it made for something fun. We tried several different things like that. So don't be afraid to use props. Look around, see what's there. If there's a riding horse that's nearby, go take a picture of somebody on the horse and everybody else laughing at them or trying to get on it. We had this speeder for Star Wars over by Star Tours. We'd get pictures of people playing on the speeder and riding it or trying to get on or flying off and having some fun with it and getting creative again and using the prop as a means to get creative. Don't be afraid to use props. They can totally make a picture. Number six, magic shots. Okay, if you've got somebody that knows how to use GIMP or Photoshop or things like this, this is where you can have some fun. You can use those to take other artwork, pictures of characters and things like that and put them into a picture and then arrange your people to do something fun. I would have a great time when I did magic shots, not telling who was going to be in the picture. Okay, I need you to pose like this, sit this way, stand that way, point here, look there, give me this kind of a face. Now you're going to act, pretend it's a green screen. I wouldn't always let them know. Sometimes I would. Now, if you've been to Disney, you know kind of the standard shot at the Magic Kingdom or at Disneyland is you have somebody stand there with their hands like this, and then everybody else points and looks and goes, and looks in awe, and you know Tinkerbell's going to be there. It's a standard shot. It's a cute shot. I like to do it a little different when I could, especially if I had brothers and sisters who were kids. I love to get the brother that was the most, ew, girls, icky, yicky, and have him stand there with his hand out. And then I would have the sister pointing at the hand and going, you know, and looking in awe. They don't know what it is. And I would take the shot like I did here with my son and daughter. Uh, and you can see my son's got a great expression. This is an amazing shot because it's something you don't do every day. It's a different variation of the Tinkerbell shot. Don't be afraid to try some different things. 
especially if you've got somebody good with some Photoshop skills. Hey, let's play around with these a little bit. The other thing that's really key to making magic shots work is the people in the picture have to get into it. You've got to be expressive. Exaggerate it. Overdo it. Make it fun. The more exaggerated you get, the more fun it's going to be and the more of a fun picture it is. You'll remember the time you took the picture and you'll have the picture too as a great shot. It's hard when you were trying to take magic shots and you would get those people and you'd say, okay, everybody point to the hand and look shot. That's terrible. That's boring. That's your shocked expression? Come on now. Go to Tower of Terror and look afraid. Really? So if you're dropping on that ride, is that the expression you're going to be making? Give me a good... Or... Or something. And I would actually have to show them sometimes. Look, guys, if your picture on the ride is you sitting like this, you need help. <laughs> Have some fun, exaggerate, let your silliness come out with the magic shots, as well as some of those other poses earlier. Think about what you would actually be feeling and experiencing and showing if this happened. If you had Stitch all of a sudden come up out of a hole in the ground and start throwing ice cream everywhere, what are you going to do? You're not going to be sitting there going, uh, -huh. it's going to be a, ew. You're going to want great expressions. Don't be afraid to let the goofiness out for the picture. And that kind of leads me to my last point. And this was my big thing when I was working. Have fun. Get people to have fun when you are taking pictures. In fact, if I had somebody that was insistent they weren't going to have fun, I would have fun at their expense. And I would put them in the middle with their sour face crossing their eye arms. And then I would have everybody else laughing around them and pointing or making faces. <laughs> I would take their grumpy, I'm not fun moment, and I would have fun with it. Make it a memorable experience where everybody's going to have a good time. If you've got a kid that's sleeping, gather around the child and have everybody else look like they're sleeping. Especially if you have characters that would do it. Those are great moments. We had a blast telling people just let your inner child out and have a good time. This is the biggest key to getting good photos. If people are having fun when they're taking pictures, they're going to smile more naturally. They're going to be happier. They're going to look like they're having a good time in the picture and it gets you a better picture. If you ever look at those wedding photos and they have the wedding party has been standing there for 30 minutes to an hour taking picture after picture after picture and you look at the later photos and they're just like, oh, here we go again compared to the beginning when they're so happy and excited. Don't lose that beginning part. Enjoy it. Make it memorable. This is why, honestly, I think I have some people still remember me as their photographer at Disney because I was having so much fun and I was trying to make sure they were having so much fun that it created this great memorable experience and great photos at the same time. If you're starting to not have fun, you got to rethink what you're doing here a little bit, change it up, maybe take a break, maybe try something different, maybe do something entirely new. But don't forget the fun. If you're having fun, all the rest will fall into place. So there are seven tips and tricks that us PhotoPass photographers use to get great photos. Do you have some others that you would use and suggest? I would love to hear them. Don't forget to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe if you haven't. We're on our way to 30,000 subscribers. Help us get there. Thank you as well to my YouTube members and my patrons. Their support has meant the world to me. Even some of these pictures I showed you have actually come from YouTube members and other viewers. So I very much appreciate their help with that. If you want to know more, as well as all sorts of other stuff, check the description below. There's a ton of info there. Thank you so incredibly much for watching and supporting. God bless. of the best tips and tricks that we use to get great pictures. All right, that's better. So remember that's flip-flopped. <laughs> I filmed it wrong. Our attendants, we always... <laughs> You're going to get everybody looking much more comfortable, much more... Let's see. <laughs> Some of our photographers do things like 
get down on the ground to take pictures of the kids at a different angle. Ah, ears. But don't forget the fun. As the cat jumps off the desk. Okay, that should work. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to know about contact information, fan pages, merchandise, and more, please be sure to check the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to know when I have new ones, well, make sure you hit that subscribe button right up there. And if you want to see another one of my videos, well, I've got a great one for you right here. And a huge thank you to these wonderful people here who support me on Patreon and with YouTube memberships. They get behind the scenes information, special perks, and more. If you'd like to know more about that, well, make sure you check that button right there. Thank you so much.